Hey, this is I Flip for Math, MathCast Lesson 2-2, Part 1, Rounding Whole Numbers. And today, our quote is go down deep enough into anything and you will find mathematics. And of course, in our class, all you're going to find is mathematics. Um, we make sure you write down the learning goal. It is to round whole numbers. So here are individual lesson learning goals. Use the place value song to round to the correct place value position. We'll learn that today. And use the rounding poem and symbols to round correctly. Here are your vocabulary and notes. Let's see, our first rounding. That's the main thing we're going to be doing today. That's when you replace a number with the closest multiple of 10, 100, 1,000, etc. And then rounding is based on knowing the halfway point between those multiples of 10. And anytime you see the word nearest, that tells you that you're going to be rounding. So go ahead and pause this, write down your vocabulary and notes, and then push play. Here's our place value practice, because we need to know our place value when we're rounding. It's probably the one thing that's going to make the biggest difference on whether we get our rounding problems correct. First of all, I want you to write down the digit in the tens place in that problem, 45,123. Did you write two? If we sing the place value song starting after the ones position, there it is, there's the three, ones, tens, well, we stopped on the two, so we know the two is in the tens place. Let's try another one. Write down the digit in the thousands place, 620,933. Remember to sing your place value song. Did you write zero? Let's sing our song starting with the three on the right. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So the zeros in the thousands place. Write down the digit in the hundred thousands place. 508,395,788. Did you write three? Let's sing the song to make sure. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Yep, the three is in the hundred thousands place. Now I'm going to teach you the rounding poem. So one of your assignments for tonight is to memorize the rounding poem. This is going to make rounding a lot easier for you. So here it is. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. All numbers in front, stay the same, all numbers behind, zeros your name, except after decimals. Now rewind that, play it again and practice it until you've got it memorized. Then do it again with me and we'll add a little rhythm to it. Here we go. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. All numbers in front, stay the same, all numbers behind, zero's your name, except after decimals. Now, let's go ahead and use that poem to work a problem. Okay, here's my mouse. We're going to round to the hundreds place. I want you to look. Notice that there's an S on the end, so we know we're working with whole numbers right now. That S tells us that. Let's round the number 56,795 to the hundreds place. If we sing our place value song, we know we start here after the last number of the whole numbers in the ones place, and we sing ones, tens, hundreds, that's how we find our place and underline it. So find your place, underline it to show that you found it. Look next door. When we do that, we're going to draw an arrow to the digit on the right. Look next door. Five or greater. Is this five or greater? Nine is definitely greater than five. Add one more. When we add one more, we're going to add one more to the underlined digit. So just like when we're carrying numbers when we're adding, we're going to add a little one up there. Now, all numbers in front stay the same. So one 
plus 7 is 8, write it right below it. And then all numbers in front stay the same. See, those are exactly the same. All numbers behind zeros your name. So the 9 turns into a 0 and the 5 turns into a 0. When you're rounding whole numbers, you will never have a digit with value, that means any digit other than 0, after the underlying digit. Everything after it has to be zeros. Let's use that rounding poem and our place value song to do some rounding practice. Here's our first question. Round to the tens place. Write down your answer in your journal. Pause and push play again when you're ready. Did you write 34,290? That would be using our rounding strategies. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we did that. Okay, we're rounding to the tens place. I always write that down, that helps me because I want to make sure I round to the correct place. And our number is 34,285. Rounding to the tens place, ones, tens. So we'll find our place by underlining it. Look next door, five or greater, it's definitely five or greater. Add one more. So remember, we add one more to the underlying digit. That's always the one we're working with. One plus eight is nine. All numbers in front stay the same. All numbers behind zeros your name, except after decimals. Round to the ten thousands place. 276,101. Go ahead and write your answer in your journal now. Did you write 280,000? Let's take a look at how we did that one. Now we're rounding to the 10,000s place. Again, that S on the end means I'm rounding to the whole numbers. So 10,000s, 276,101. Here, let's sing our song. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So I found my place. Look next door, five or greater, add one more. Seven plus one is eight. All numbers in front stay the same. All numbers behind zeros your name. Now, round to the hundreds place. 904,846. Pause and start again when you're ready. Did you write 904,800? Let's check it out. Okay, now we're rounding to the hundreds place. So we're rounding 904,000. 846. Ones, tens, hundreds. We found our place. Look next door. Five or greater, add one more. Four is not five or greater, so this number is going to stay the same. We're not going to do anything to it. All numbers in front stay the same. All numbers behind zeros your name. This is a little bit more challenging, probably the hardest thing you're going to be doing with rounding, rounding with nines. So we're going to do some extra work on that. Rounding with nines is a lot like carrying a number when we're adding two numbers together vertically. Use the rounding strategies and it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go ahead and try some practice here. Round to the hundreds place, 47,961. Remember to use your place value song and your rounding poem to help you. Did you write 48,000? Let's go ahead and show you how we did this. Okay, now we're rounding with nines, so we're going to round to the hundreds place. And we are rounding the number 47,961. Ones, tens, hundreds, 
There we found our place. Look next door. Five or greater. Six is greater than five, so we're going to add one more. Now watch carefully to what I do. One plus nine is ten. If I were adding this just like a regular number, I would put my zero right below it and carry my one. Now I add one plus seven, which becomes eight. All numbers in front stay the same. Let's put our comma there. All numbers behind zeros your name. Let's try one more with that. If we're rounding to the tens place, find your place, look next door, five or greater, that's five or greater, add one more. One plus nine is ten. Put your zero below it and carry your one, just like if you were adding. One plus four is five. All numbers in front stay the same. There are no numbers in front. And all numbers behind zeros your name. Wasn't too bad. I think using the strategy will really help us be successful there. Challenge yourself. Today's challenge problem has to do with rounding to the nines. It's tough, but it's really a great feeling when you know you've mastered it. So I want everyone to try this today. Your first problem is to round to the underlying digit. And your second one is to round to the tens place. Remember, write your answers in your journal and come back to school tomorrow ready to check them out. Finishing up, we're going to start something new today. After you have looked at your learning goals, I want you to write down somewhere at the end of your notes whether you think you're at a one, a two, or a three in your learning. If you really feel like you've mastered everything, even rounding to the nines, then I want you to put down a three in your journal. If you got some of the problems correct, but sometimes you're still making small mistakes, I want you to write down a two in your journal. If you're still struggling with rounding and you need some help tomorrow when you come to class, I want you to write a, three, a one in your journal. A one doesn't mean that you're not smart. It just means you need a little bit more help and understanding. That way you'll get the help and you'll become a three very quickly. Go ahead and write down any questions you might have. Congratulations, you've completed Lesson 2-2 Part 1, Rounding Whole Numbers. See you tomorrow.